taking the printer away because we're sending it back. So we've had a few problems with the printing on our edible cake prints. Now, I find this really weird because we had a bit of an argument. The lady on the phone was saying, take the printer head out and clean it under the tap. Well, hang on a minute. We've just had this printer, okay? So the printer, the printer's brand new. Why on earth would we take the printer head out? And then she said, that's all we'll do when we get it back. So we kicked off a little bit and we said, no, you need to replace the printer. The funny thing is, if you ask for your money back, if you ask for your money back on something, then fair enough they can say, well, actually, are you scamming us or whatever? But we're not asking for our money back. We wanted a replacement printer because this one wasn't printing properly right from the off. Why don't companies just help you out a little bit? Why don't they, are they not a bit more lenient? My wife ended up having a massive argument with the people on the phone, strange. Needless to say, Nick won. My mum, Been for breakfast with my mum. So another help out to eat out, eat out to help out, whatever they call it. And uh, that's the final day today, Wednesday. So won't be eating out again this week, hopefully not. Well, I actually tell a lie on our anniversary meal on Friday. So we will be eating out Friday night, but I have to pay full price. My old Mars just walking down now to a car. <laughs> I've always enjoyed running in the rain. In fact, I've always enjoyed being out in the rain. I'm gonna say enjoyed, it doesn't bother me being out in the rain. Even if that was working or be, just being out in general in the rain, as long as I'm prepared, as long as I know it's happening, it doesn't bother me at all. So I've just done another solid four miles, two days in a row um, on my run, which I'm pleased with, but it was raining. Now the mistake I made is I wore a waterproof jacket, which by the looks of it, hasn't done its job so being a little bit overweight I'm thinking this now has made me even heavier than what I was before I started and I've ran all the way around four miles with this heavier than what I actually wanted to be so I should have left the jacket at home mistake now when I say I've always enjoyed running in the rain I've always enjoyed sport in general in the rain especially football you get you'd get people like this who absolutely hated playing football in the rain can't stand it couldn't stand it absolutely hated it not that i was a dirty player but i would literally i would let them know that they were playing football in the rain and they were playing football against a competitive person and if you didn't like it Tough. Coaching on the other hand, in the rain, now that's a different story. Like if it was raining right now, I'd be proper annoyed to be honest with you. I don't mind it really, I suppose. But I'd rather not be hanging around in the rain trying to influence footballers, influence athletes. I'd rather be nice and bright so the players are paying attention to what I've got to say. Anyway, I think that's the end of the vlog today. I'm about to coach the under 18s at Notts County. Catch you later. I learnt a long time ago 
No point in arguing with Nick, she wins a lot of arguments. Not necessarily always right, but she wins the arguments. 